Hello and welcome to another Dell SonicWall video tutorial. I'm David Matthew with the Security Engineering Escalation Group. In this video, we will be discussing the Sonic Point ACE, ACI, and N2 access points and how to manage them with a Dell SonicWall TZ Series product. The topics covered will be about the management of Sonic Point's ACE, ACI, and N2 with Dell SonicWall TZ products. In the end of this video, we will discuss how to manage a sonic point with a TZ300. However, the process is the same for the TZ400, 500, and 600. Here we have the sonic point ACE, ACI, and N2 access point series. On the other side of the sonic points are its access ports. There are two Ethernet ports, LAN 1 and LAN 2, and a console port. This is your supplied Power Over Ethernet injector. The Power Over Ethernet injector is capable of providing 25 watts of power. The port on the left is your data and power out port. This is the port that you will connect to your SonicPoint LAN 1 Power Over Ethernet port. The port on the right is your data in port. This is a port that you can connect to your SonicWall WLAN X2 port. In most cases, Customers will use this Power Over Ethernet injector to power their device. However, you can also use a Power Over Ethernet capable network switch port as long as it's 802.3 AT compliant and capable of providing 25 watts of power. This is a Dell SonicWall TZ series. It consists of the TZ300, 400, 500, and 600. Here's an overview of the TZ series ports for each product. The X0 port is assigned to LAN and the X1 port is assigned to WAN. Some products have more ports than others, but each product is functionally the same. Now we'll be discussing setting up a TZ series product with a sonic point. In the rest of this demo, we will be using a TZ300, but the process is the same for all TZ series products. So here, the Dell SonicWall TZ300 has been initialized by the setup wizard. The setup wizard automatically assigns ports X3 and X4 to the X0 LAN port shield group. The X1 port WAN is usually connected to a cable or DSL modem for internet access. The X2 port is left undefined. In order for the SonicWall to manage sonic points, the sonic point must be in the WLAN zone in order to be detected and deployed. For this scenario, to set up the TZ300 with a sonic point, we will assign port X2 to the WLAN zone and assign port X2 a static IP address. Now let's discuss cabling the TZ300 to a sonic point. Start by locating the sonic point LAN1 PoE port. Connect the LAN1 port to the supplied PoE injector port on the left labeled data and power out. Now locate the SonicWall WLAN X2 port and connect it to the PoE injector port on the right labeled Data N. As mentioned earlier, a PoE network capable switch can be used as an alternative for the PoE injector that is supplied with your device as long as it is 802.3 AT compliant. Now let's look at a TZ300 managing a sonic point walkthrough. We have just initialized a Dell SonicWall TZ300 with the setup wizard. Next, we will configure the TZ300 for a sonic point. Here at the network interfaces, the X2 port is not assigned to any zone. For this demo, we will assign the X2 port to the WLAN zone and assign it the private IP address of 172.16.31.1. We will accept the other default settings and click OK. Here we have connected the sonic point ACE to the X2 WLAN port. The sonic point has been auto detected and deployed. To learn more about Dell SonicWall security products, visit dellsoftware.com slash solutions slash network hyphen security. For more videos, visit dellsoftware.com slash support. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.